Hello there! Tis the season to collect Star Wars stuff. Welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, my Star Wars collection. This is episode 69, the Hallmark Holiday Ornaments. <laughs> In 2013, I picked up my first Hallmark Star Wars keepsake ornament, which happened to be a Star Wars Lego. Well, a Star Wars Yoda Lego. In 2016, I picked up a bunch of 2015 Darth Vader wearing an ugly sweater. Um, these were on closeout, and I used them as Christmas gifts for a youth group I was involved with. I only have a few of the Star Wars keepsake ornaments. However, I do have a nice collection of Hallmark ornaments that were available at Walmart and even some at Target. This is the fourth year that I have been collecting these ornaments. And I thought, seeing that we're in the holiday season, that I would share this collection with you. But before I do, I just want to invite you once again to like the video to share it with your friends, to leave a comment below and let me know which ones are your favorites, and of course, to subscribe to the channel. This last month, we've had a nice little increase in subscribers, and I really appreciate it when you do subscribe. So, shall we begin? I first want to say that I had planned on doing this or posting this video a few weeks ago, but unfortunately, this little bug that's been going around the world caught up with me and put me out of commission for a couple weeks. So that's why you haven't seen any new videos lately. But we're kind of back to normal. Time to get back to making the videos and time to share the collection with you. So let's begin. I think first, like I said earlier, I only have a few of the keepsake ornaments. So I thought I'd show those to you first and then we'll get into the other ones. We'll probably start with the oldest and work to the newest. So like I said, the very first one I collected was the Star Wars Yoda Lego keepsake ornament. Kind of a cute little ornament. Um, pretty much just a Lego minifig is what it is on a little stand. But kind of neat. And then of course, the, like I said, in 2016, I picked up a whole bunch of these uh, Darth Vader ones. They were on closeout. They were a really good price. They wanted to get rid of these. And I was able to pick up, I think, over a dozen other things. In fact, I still have three of these left. But still kind of a cool little ornament. I also have, from 2015, the uh, Zeb ornament from Star Wars Rebels, the TV show. So kind of a nice little ornament there. And uh, in 2018, r this one is even more, shall we say, on target, because this one happened to be Boba Fett. And it's basically showing Boba Fett kind of as he's halfway flying with his jetpack. Looks like he might be landing. But very nice ornament there. And the last one of the keepsake ornaments that I have is a BB-8. Nothing too special there, but there again, I think I got this one on sale on closeout. The reason I haven't collected too many of the keepsake ornaments, because they're kind of pricey. For example, this Boba Fett one, the regular price was $18 for this ornament. Now granted, the Black Series uh, action figures, they're 20 to 25 bucks a piece now, closer to 25 now. But still, for a little ornament that you maybe pull out once a year, I thought, eh, it's a little more than I really wanted to pay. But I did decide to get a few of these keepsake ones. So that's all I've got for those. Let's go back to 2018 and see which ones I picked up at Walmart. They're still Hallmark ornaments but much less expensive. Okay, with the 2018 collection, I actually have 10 different ornaments. There might have been more, I don't know. These are the ones I saw in the store. These are the ones I picked up. Um, they're actually pretty nice. At least I think they're pretty nice. So let's start, let's say, with the bad guys. Let's start with Darth Vader. Now, Darth Vader looks pretty good. He's Cloak is sweeping behind him as he's walking forward with his lightsaber drawn. Pretty nice ornament there to start the collection with. Um, 
I, li I like the way on here it says Christmas tree ornament. So yeah, it's meant to be on your Christmas trees or wherever else you want to hang them. It doesn't really matter. It's your ornament. You do with it what you want. So we start off with Darth Vader. Put him over here. The next one, of course, would be a clone trooper. A clone trooper. This happens to be a stormtrooper. So to go along with Darth Vader here. And then, of course, we've got Boba Fett. Yeah, that's right. The most famous bounty hunter in the Star Wars universe. Has a sh his own show now on Disney+. Plus. But there again, a very nice figure of Boba Fett. Standing at attention with his weapon drawn. Let's go to a few good guys now. We have Han Solo. Just looking dapper there. Nothing too special. We also have his sidekick Chewbacca with his bowcaster drawn, ready for action. We have Yoda. And as you can see, these are not in proportion to each other. They're not to scale. Yoda is actually about as big as Chewbacca in this series. But when it's hanging on your tree, who really cares? And last of the good guys, we have R2-D2. Very nice figure. This one's a little bit heavier. Must be a pretty good solid one there. From the original trilogy then, we transfer to the new trilogy. And we start off with BB-8. And as you can probably see there, BB-8 is wearing a little Santa's hat on his, on his top. We also have a Porg. After all, if you don't have turkey, you might need something else to eat, right? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on how many Porg fans there are out there. And then, of course, we have Ray, our main character from the sequel trilogy. So, Ray is almost just a little taller than R2-D2 in this one. So, these are the 2018 Christmas holiday ornaments from Walmart. Like I said, I'm not sure if I have them all, but I think I have a pretty good amount of them. Shall we move on to 2019? Let me get these out of the way. Okay, with the 2019 collection, you're going to notice that some of the figures are very close to being the same of what they were in the 2018 collection. There might have been some minor differences, but uh, yeah, you'll, you'll get to see in just a moment. The first one I want to show from that year is a Star Wars Lego action figure of Darth Vader, or Lego minifigure, I should say. I thought it was kind of cool, so I had to pick that one up. Even though it doesn't really fit in with the rest of the figures, hey, it's Lego. You can't go wrong with Lego. At least I don't think you can. So, there's the first one there. And of course, seeing that we got Darth Vader here, we may as well have the Darth Vader figure here. And here you'll notice it's very close to being the same as the previous year's figure. The flowing robe behind him, the lightsaber is drawn. But on this one, you can probably see up on the head there, he's wearing a Santa's hat this year. So we have Santa Darth Vader bringing you his favorite lightsaber for all you naughty boys and girls. We also have Chewbacca again with his bowcaster drawn. I think it's a slightly different version of what the other one was. But still, if it's Chewbacca, it's cool. You can't go wrong with Chewbacca. And then we have R2-D2 once again. Feels about the same weight as the other one, so this one might have been a repackaged one. Um, unfortunately, one thing I have noticed with these ones that you buy in Walmart is they don't have years on them. So if, you don't, if I don't box them right away in that year, I would have no idea what year these are from. But this one, I think, is might be a repackaged one. It's very close to what the 2018 version is. Now, that's four of them. I have nine of them from this year. We have BB-8 once again, only this time BB-8 is not wearing the little Santa hat. So we know this one is a slightly different version. We also have Ray once again, but this time Ray has her lightsaber drawn in a different pose. So yes, this is a different version than what we have seen in the previous year. Also this year, they finally added Kylo Ren. Now, granted, like I said, they might have had Kylo Ren the previous year. I just didn't see it in the store, so I didn't get a chance to pick it up. But uh, here we have Kylo Ren, lightsaber drawn again, ready for action. We do have a Porg again. 
must be a lot of popularity there with the Porgs that we got it two years in a row. And the final one I've got for this year is a Jet Trooper. A little different than the Storm Trooper, of course. He's got a nice pose that he's in there, ready to jet off and fight the evil that's trying to take down, I guess, the First Order. So, there we have it. The nine figures from 2019. Are you ready for 2020? Let me get these out of the way and we'll go with it from there. My 2020 collection is a bit smaller. I don't know if they just didn't get as many in the store near me or if they just made fewer of them. But I do have two, four, six, I think seven different ones here. I did get a couple of, a couple doubles of these on a couple of them because I kind of forgot that I had them. So first of all, let's start again with the villains. We have Darth Vader once again, his cape flowing behind him, wearing the little Santa hat again. Um, it seems to be a reoccurring theme. I think they're basically reusing the same figure over and over from year to year. But, you know, that's the way it is. It's just kind of like the regular action figures, too, in that we get repackaging and so forth. Don't know why we need to do that with ornaments, but they are. We also have a Stormtrooper again. Kind of like going back to the uh, 2018 version, somewhat. Then we have a new Chewbacca figure. This time he's just got his bowcaster pointing upward. After all, we want to be safe when we're handling guns. And uh, kind of nice to see a newer version of a figure there for the ornaments. Once again, we have R2-D2, and I don't think he really looks a whole lot different than he did in the previous ones here. Let's see, where's R2-D2? Here we go. Got the 2019, the 2020... And, yeah, it's pretty much just a repackaged figure. I don't even know if it's repackaged. It looks like the boxes might be actually the same. Could be the store had the same thing left over and just decided to put them back out again. Oh, well, picked it up in 2020, so it's in the 2020 collection. Now, we have an exclusive to uh, Walmart here. Yoda from the Clone Wars. I think it's a very nice action, or a very nice action figure. I think it's a very nice ornament there. Kind of shows Yoda and all his wisdom. That one I do have two of. I don't remember if I actually wanted to buy two or if I just forgot I had it and bought another one. Now, with this year, we've got some new figures because a new TV show became quite popular on Disney+. Plus. And that is, of course, The Mandalorian. So, of course, we've got to have The Mandalorian. Um, there again, very nicely done. I like the way the cape kind of flows around him. Gives a little more, uh, little more of a look to the figure. And then, of course, if we have The Mandalorian, we have to have The Child. Now, at this point, this is the first season of The Mandalorian. So that's all we knew him by was The Child. Of course, now we know what his name is after season two. And that one again, it's the child. That one I had to buy two of. Figured this way I could actually take one out of the package and hang it on the tree if I wanted to. So there are the 2020 ornaments from the Hallmark collection that I was able to buy at Walmart. What do you think of these? Let's head now to 2021, this year's versions. Okay, with the 2021 versions, I don't have as many of them. Um, it looked as if there was more repacks for 2021. They took some of the 2020s and just put them out on the market again. And this time I actually caught myself and decided, nah, I've already got one that looks like that. Why do I want to buy others? Although I did still end up with one or two of the repacks. First of all, let's start with... Darth Vader, once again, holding his lightsaber, his cloak flowing behind him, but you'll notice the packaging is different. Yes, we have red and white packaging this time, where the previous year was just kind of red packaging. So are the Darth Vaders the same here? Let's find out from one year to the next. Nope, 2020 had the cap, the Santa cap on it. 2021 does not have the Santa cap. So... Might have gone back to one of the previous years for that one. We do have Chewbacca again with his uh, 
uh, bow caster pointing straight up again, which I think is somewhat close to what the previous year was. And again, we have R2-D2, pretty much looks the same, bottom before I realized that they didn't change them up again. Can you really do a whole lot different with R2 other than maybe putting a Christmas cap on them? But anyway, those are the original trilogies. Then of course, because the Mandalorian is popular, we have to have another Mandalorian figure. This time there is no cape because he has his jetpack. Jetpacks and capes don't work too well together. So nice little figure there of the Mandalorian. And we also have another figure of the child reaching forward, trying to grab something. I think we might know what that something could be. He did have this little fascination with a little ball. So a nice figure of the child. Once again, you can see these are not in scale to each other. These are the only ones I bought this year. Like I said, there were a couple other ones, but they look like they were just repackaged from the previous year. So I caught myself before I bought those. Figured, why do I need those again? However, this year Funko Pop came out with holiday ornaments. So this one, we have the Mandalorian and the child. This is a Walmart exclusive, and I thought it was pretty, pretty cool with what I could see here. So had to have that one on the collection. And the other one that I saw, other also exclusive to Walmart, is just the child. And here he's got the little ball from the stick shift and the uh, razor crest. So there are the ornaments for 2021 that I found at Walmart. Um, also, I did find one other little thing at Walmart. It's not so much an ornament as it is a stocking. Yes, they actually came out with a stocking of the child. So at least if you had one of these, you could take your ornaments and place it inside and just fill the sock with ornaments for that little one in your house that is just gun-ho about Star Wars. So what do you think about that? I kind of like this sock. Um, it was pretty reasonable. I think it was only, yeah, it might have been about seven bucks, something like that. Now, what I should do is go to Walmart now and see what kind of closeouts they got on all this stuff. That brings us to the end of this video. What do you think of all these ornaments? Which ones were your favorite? Leave a comment below and let me know. Have you been collecting these at all? Um, be interesting to see what they come out with next year now that we also have the Book of Boba Fett and a few other shows from Disney Plus that'll be coming out. So there could be a whole new line of ornaments for 2022. Time will tell. By the way, speaking of 2022, this is my last video of 2021. That's right, we've come to an end of another year of my Star Wars collection. I hope you've been enjoying these videos. Like I said, we've uh, had a nice little increase in subscriptions, so don't forget to subscribe. Let's keep that going. Get those subscriptions up a little higher. Make sure you hit the like video because of course that helps the algorithm, helps other people to find these videos. That way we can share our collections and let everybody know what we got. Until next time, may the force be with you and keep collecting.